Hi, welcome to Recreational Knitting. My name is Karen and this is my little place on the internet where I talk to you about my knitting and traveling in our RV. Those of the, those, blah, 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 gonna be tough today. Those of you who are new here, I appreciate it so much. Um, welcome, I hope you like what you see. We travel in our RV and have been doing so for 38 months now. Yes, you heard right, 38 months. And I'm still smiling, yes. Although we are on the way home, <laughs> yes. And those of you who have been with me for a while, thanks for returning and watching again. Please do all the youtube -y things and like and subscribe and leave me a comment below, that's how the YouTube algorithms get out to other people that might want to see this. Currently, we are in South Carolina in a small town outside of um, Savannah, and it is a working farm. They have chickens, hogs, rabbits, of course, um, vegetables that are growing, and it is an organic farm. It's called Whipperwill farms look it up on the internet it's pretty cool uh, a family has decided to go into farming and make it biodiverse really really nice we bought some chicken the other night we haven't eaten it yet because it was frozen when we purchased it and she recommended that we let it defrost in our refrigerator for three to ten days so that's what we're doing I'll let you know once we eat it so today is gonna to be a little short with knitting, um, my knitting. I will be showing you a wonderful little knitting shop in Buford, South Carolina. I highly recommend this uh, yarn shop. It's been there for approximately 17 years and it changed hands about two years ago and the new owner um, has really done a, a magical job of of making things fresh again and current so stay around for that tour and in the meantime let's get to what i've been knitting i'm not going to show you my habitation throw until it's finished i'm tired of lugging the thing around um those of you who are new i've been knitting on the um Helen Stewart's habitation throw since December the 1st when I made my own advent. Decided I had so much yarn I should be using that instead of buying new. Yes, it's not great for the economy, but it's great for the marriage. <laughs> uh, I have many uh, pieces of yarn that he's ready to throw out <laughs> living in an RV. So I decided to start that for my advent, and I'm still working on that. I haven't done as religiously as I might have this past week, but I, but I did put about um, three or four inches on it. Currently, I have about that many stitches. If you, if you know the pattern, it starts and it's knit like this. You keep increasing, and I made mine at least double. Um, because I wanted to really make it useful. I've heard from other folks who have knit it that it wasn't quite what they had hoped that it would be. So I made mine larger. And yes, it's gonna be it's gonna be useful, it's gonna be warm, all of that, but I'm getting tired of it. So you're not gonna have to look at it until I'm finished with it. Count your blessings. I have been working on my sweater the Yume from Isabel Kramer. And this is made with Queensland United, which is 50-50 um, lamb's wool and cotton. And let me see if I get the front. Yep, there's the front. It's made in what's called marsh. The color is marsh. And here is where I showed you the last time that I was, which was two, probably a week and a half, two weeks ago. And I've knit a good bit on it. Uh, I'm 
making the extra large and I'm really enjoying it. It's just round and round and it's great television knitting. Um, the lace was complicated um, by me. Uh, obviously I don't count well, but I think once it gets finished, it will be lovely. This will be short sleeved. She has instructions for either short sleeved or long sleeve for this particular pattern. So um, if it fits well, which I intend it to be, um, I'll probably be making another one soon enough. I have yarn for, um, I have yarn for probably six sweaters. Yeah, I gotta get going on it. And that's being kept in this lovely um, bag by an Etsy seller that I cannot remember. Etsy sellers, put a tag on your work. This is one of the better bags I've ever purchased. If I, I will try to link her shop below. Um, I went back yesterday to look and see if she had something similar. Right now she doesn't. This was called her sock bag. And you see that I have at least 250 grams right now of yarn in here. So a little more in so socks. So that's that. Last week, I showed you that I had gone on and made a sock. No heel yet. I'm depending upon a child of mine that I gave birth to to give me measurements for where I need to put a heel. That may be why. But that didn't st stop me from casting on the second one. This one I cast on today. while well, we went and we went to Buford, South Carolina from where we're staying. So, got the cuff done. That shouldn't take long. What will take longer is getting that information from my child. <laughs> and the last thing that I'm gonna show you is a new cast on. Forgot to tell you what I'm wearing. Those of that you've been around know that this is the Anchor Summer Shirt by Petite Knit. I knit this one in the 3X. I should have done this one in the 2X um, because this is a little bit larger yarn than what I knit my former ones on. Um, I've knit three of these so far. Two with Remix from Barocco which is a Remix Light, excuse me. It's a three weight and the content is 30% nylon, 24% acrylic, 27% cotton, 10% silk and 9% linen. Um, never thought that I would enjoy this yarn so much. Uh-oh, dropped a couple stitches here. Hang on there, get them back on a needle. Doesn't matter which one at this point. Okay. And yesterday, while we were taking um, a little trolley tour of Savannah, I cast on. It's a navy blue and the silk and linen do not dye the same as the rest. So it comes out very tweedy and you must do this one in in good light but so this is my first piece of the cast on uh, i know i will love it this is a 3xl you hear my chickens yeah i'm gonna go from here to see if i can buy some of their eggs they didn't have any um the last two times i've asked because they have subscription services that they must fulfill first but so that's what i've been up to we are truly enjoying south carolina much much better than the charlotte area which was gloom and doom you can see that this even though you can't see this side of my face the sun is out it's beautiful we traveled through Savannah yesterday. There will be footage of that Charleston and Beaufort areas um, 
sometime soon, probably not in this um, podcast, I'm going to include my tour of coastal knit, coastal knitting, which is it? It's one of those. I'll put that link down below as well. Had a wonderful tour with the owner. Um, yeah, it was great. It's right on the corner. And if you ever come to the Hilton Head area, the Charleston area, the Savannah area in South Carolina, definitely worth looking Buford up and her shop, Coastal Knitting. It's really nice, small. And she has four designers currently that live in the area and work out of her shop for lack of a better better way of saying that um, she has many of their designs in the shop and was actually working on one of the designs for the designers um, when it was on the table beautiful beautiful looks very Stephen Westish. Um, yeah, I don't know the designer's names. I will try to get those um, as well. But look her up on the internet. And she does not have um, an online presence. But if you do vacation in this area at any point, it's worth the trip. It really is. And what else have we done? We enjoyed the Charleston area very much. We went down into the market, into the um, historical section, the French market, the, the battery down there. Um, lovely, lovely area. Um, I will be probably the next podcast putting all of that together. Savannah is gorgeous and Beaufort is a quaint, uh, it used to be small, it's grown and it's just beautiful down here. Low country it is. I will say that so far, my favorite place is Edisto Beach. It's quiet and that's what I like. This has been really fun. Um, yeah, we've enjoyed our time here. So with that, I'm going to send you out with the tour. I may be doing some voiceover, but you'll hear the owner at first. Thanks. Comment down below what your favorite yarn shop has ever been. Even if it's um, an online presence at this point. Uh, those of you that live in the UK, I'm always really excited to hear about beautiful shops that you've been to. I've only been to The Loop in London. Wow. I just, I was in all and of course I didn't have a whole lot of room in my suitcase and you know just bought a couple things but what's your favorite yarn shop comment down below and with that I'm going to leave you with the tour of the knitting store in Buford South Carolina coastal knitting Bye. Editing Karen here. I forgot to tell you, thank you for all your wonderful stories of why knitting last podcast. If you haven't checked that out, do. There's some really nice comments. I talk about um, how I started knitting and many of you have commented with brilliant stories about how you started knitting. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for adding those comments. Comments always help the community grow. Thanks again.
Karen came into my shop this morning and introduced herself as a recreational knitter and that's tied into her new lifestyle. So she asked if she could film the inside of the shop and I said, great, but let me tell you all about it. And I'm not gonna tell you because I told Karen and I hope if you're ever in Beaufort, South Carolina, you'll come by and see me at Coastal Knitting. Okay, thank you, Karen. Thank you. So you just wanna, you know, tell me, you know, some of the lines that you have. Oh, well that's, she's where we have our bamboo pop. It's bamboo and cotton. And then to the right, we have our baby corner. So a lot of that's easy carry yarn. Um, the Haslam 